This band is knitted right along with the garment. It can be used on anything. Here it is on my top down downtown cardigan. Let me show you. This cardigan employs several special techniques. Everything is worked by hand on one bed and each technique will get its own video so you can use any of them anywhere. This is a pretty cardigan band that we can knit right on. It doesn't require anything fancy. This particular one is v-necked so what I'm about to do is show you how we get that V. Uh, later it could use a little bit of steaming to keep it from flipping but that's all it will take and we don't have to stop and apply a separate band. Here you can see my increases starting to form and be the obvious part of the band and here's how we get that to happen. It's time now for an increase so I'm going to move the three stitches on the neck edge over and the next three over also and lift the pearl bump from the sixth one of those stitches and hang it on the empty needle. Now four rows. The pace of the increases might possibly be different than four rows based on your pattern on size. I will move these three out. If you have a six prong tool and you're good with it, it's completely fine to use it. Now six are moved out. The sixth one, we pick up the pearl bump from it. And what I mean by pearl bump, see the stitch that's on the needle? That's obviously that one. It's what we can see of the stitch below. I'm not hanging this one. I'm simply using it to show you what I mean. Here it would be this. Here it would be this. And its function is to do what you just saw. Fill the empty space. If we did not do so, there would be a hole there, which could be okay. It might be part of the design you had in mind, but in this case, I did not want one. So one way to close it is use these. Could have also used these, the ones from the straight knitting, and that would have looked slightly different. But for this project, I want the one from the sixth stitch from the edge. So what I'm going to do is keep doing this for a few rows off camera until it's time to do the next part of the band formation and we'll get back together and do that together. And there we go. Now that I've finished the increases, I can just knit straight for quite a few rows. And then we'll do the hand manipulation that makes that band come together. There you go. I wanted to knit quite a number of rows so that you can watch it go around the corner that we've made. Okay. We're going to take the third stitch from the front edge and ladder it all the way back down to the beginning of the, the piece. Actually to the first real stitch that followed the cast on. I'll probably need to take off the weight that I've got on it. I started on some waste yarn after having worked on another project. So I'll ladder down to the white, which is my waste. It'd be perfectly fine. Well, actually, I'll ladder down almost to the white. It'd be perfectly fine to have just started with a cast on. 
there's my first row. So I'm inserting the tool in that stitch and then we're working what I use in lots of projects. You've seen me do it before. Tuck rib. Behind one rung, grab the next, pull through. Slide behind, pull through, behind, grab and pull through. And we're going to do that all the way up this column of stitches. Doing it like this means that you can use any machine. A hobby machine works fine. This is in fact a silver reed electronic machine that we've repaired and we're testing it. But the part that we repaired was not electronic. We don't need to use them for this. And I don't have a river for this machine in the shop. We wanted to give it a good workout. Thus, I am knitting a sweater with hand manipulation. A cardigan, actually. And this is the front cardigan band. Now, I think we're just about to reach the point where the increases ceased. And we'll just continue and it'll go straight and that gets a little bit easier at that point. But it was never hard. After I've done this column of stitches, I will do the same to the fifth column of stitches. And for the rest of the cardigan all the way down to the hem, We'll knit however many rows you feel comfortable knitting before you do this. And then latch up the columns exactly as we are. And by the time we cast off, the cardigan band will be finished, except for the need for a little bit of steam or blocking, depending on what yarn you used. And here I ended up with one row to go. I can't slide behind. So I'll just latch it and hang it. The, the reason that occurs is because of using the very first row as my starting point. But whether it occurs that way or not, it doesn't matter. I'll just start the next time by taking the last of the stitches that truly did make tuck rib. Now this will be the rung I'll slide behind and grab the next one. But for now, we just want it to pick up and keep knitting. I've knitted another 30 or so rows. So let's drop stitches 3 and 5 again. But I always do them one at a time. What happens if you drop them both at once is things get sloppier and harder to control. I just wanted to show you what I meant about picking up where we were. This final stitch, you can see by looking that it's only a regular rib stitch, not a tuck rib stitch. So we'll undo it because we want continuous tuck rib. Put the tool in the stitch below that was tuck rib and then resume what we were doing. Slide behind, pull through all the way up. Simple as that.